Hey there, friends. How's it going? Are you a business owner who's looking for a way to increase your content creation velocity so that you start ranking more your website, more pages on Google so you get more clients and customers heading your way, calling your phone number, submitting the form, contacting you to do business with you? Well, if that's the case, I want to introduce you to a tool that I recently came across, um, started using called, Key, called KW Hero going to walk you through uh, the, the product itself, the workflow, kind of show you how it works. Anyways, so I, I've been putting out a couple last couple of videos about uh, SEO optimization tools. Why? Because right now it's a big focus for myself in my businesses, um, in both of my like my law practice as well as my SaaS business. Uh, there's lots of ways that you can generate traffic and generate customers online. You can do social media, you can spend uh, money on advertising, but SEO, meaning content that you publish on your website, is really, I think it's super powerful because if you do it, if you do it strategically, you do it once and then it like constantly grows in terms of uh, its value. It's like compound interest. So I, I like this year and the beginning of this year, 2024, I've really started putting a lot more energy and focus into SEO. And again, if you're a business owner, whether you're a brick and mortar, you know, local shop owner, you do coaching, personal training, you have a service-based business like a lawyer, accountant, any and every business can benefit from uh, like an SEO strategy. So I'm gonna dive into this tool and why I think uh, if you're someone who's on the fence about it, you're like, oh, I've heard about SEO, but I don't know what to do or how to go about doing it. Like this may be something you really want to look into. So I'm at the KW Hero page. And what it is, let me just take a step back. Like I've, I've shared before, broadly speaking, right? If you're looking to grow your traffic online, meaning getting more customers and clients to get to your website on Google, you have to create content, notably like long form content. There's ways you can also incorporate video into that or not, but blog posts is really what we're talking about, long form text content. Why? At its core, like, remember, when someone, think about it like this, when someone searches for anything in Google, Google wants to provide an answer to that that, like, matches the intent of the search. So, like, like we'll use an example moving forward here. It's like, let's do, like, best infant or best toddler car seat, right? We'll just use that as a, as a framework. Um, I recently switched my car seat from, like, the infant one to like the swivel one so it's top of mind for me um so we're going to do something like that just to see how this how this works out so if you're someone who sells let's say baby products on your website or you're an affiliate for like baby stores and whatnot this is a great like you you can create content around booster seats toddler seats whatever infant seats and you want your content to be the thing that google shows to whenever someone's searching for it best booster seat right is is what you're really trying to do and you just need to be strategic about that the way it ends up being is like content before that's already on there you want to understand what it is and make it even better make sure that you cover like all other angles to demonstrate your expertise your knowledge and your helpfulness really at its core all right so let's hop into it um so doing this stuff is really about three different aspects they can be broken out into like sub steps and whatnot but if you're if you're talking about building out seo content for your website it's going to be topic and keyword research it's going to be content ideation and it's going to be content creation topic and keyword research are what exactly are the terms like the topics that i'm writing about creating content around and that's going to be uh like keyword and topic research we'll dive into it a little bit here because kw hero provides some of that but i i've I've shared another video, another tool that I use called WriterZen. I think I'll put a link somewhere here uh, about WriterZen, which is a fantastic keyword tool. Right now, it's it's they do offer a lifetime deal. If you if you don't have a, a keyword research tool and you want to do this kind of work, hop on, run, run real quick and get that lifetime deal. So again, I'll put the link to the video up there. So content, uh, 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 keyword and topic research, that's going to be step one. These tools that we're like KW Hero include some of that but it's really focused on the second two steps content ideation figuring out what kind of content um, is doing well with respect to the term you're searching for and then three content creation where this thing expedites your velocity by 
50x. All right, so let's hop into it. This is the KW Hero website. Uh, if you want to, they got like some case studies and whatnot, sales letters, very straightforward. And, you know, I already have a couple of content optimization tools, but I always feel like, hey, if I can, even if I have to spend money on another tool, if it can speed up my workflow and make me that much more productive, it's totally worth it. And I saw KW Hero on AppSumo. I'll, I'll jump to that in a minute. I was on the fence about it because I have like two or three other tools that do what seems to be comparable. And I'll make some like comparison videos later on. Um, but I went ahead and just just gave it a shot because I want to see if, if it's possible to speed up my workflow. And I'm so glad I did. That's why I'm sharing this video. All right, uh, I did mention AppSumo. Right now, at the time of recording this video, it's like February, at end of February, 2024. KW Heroes on AppSumo. AppSumo is a place for like business owners to get lifetime deals on software. So if you want to like get something like this and save money in the long term, you definitely want to check out uh, AppSumo and get it right there. Uh, plans, depending on what tier you get, anywhere from $69 all the way to $499. And really the differences in plans are going to be the credits per month and we'll walk through what those credits mean like what it really does for you tier five is going to be blah, blah, blah. okay so that's that or you can just later on if if you're watching this video and it's no longer available on AppSumo, then you can always get it on the kw hero website i think pricing is not terrible what you get here AI credits per month 58 AI credits. all right cool so let's start and just dive into the tool because I just want to get into that. KW Hero is broken down into two main components and they're right here on this tab. You've got keyword research and then content creation. Over on the right are just some like cosmetic features. You've got light mode and dark mode. Um, these are notifications or like watch a, a video, getting started video, other updates from the KW Hero team. Here's going to be like notifications about work and analyses that you have. And then here's going to be like your account settings and whatnot. So let's start off with keyword research. Again, remember I said that content creation, particularly like SEO stuff, if you're building out content for your website, it's three parts. It's going to be key topic and keyword research. Second is maybe content ideation, like the, what am I actually doing with this keyword research? And then three is actual the content creation. So. KW Hero actually provides all three, and which is why if you don't have a tool like this already, it may be worthwhile to invest in it. So the keyword research um, is actually kind of basic at the moment. And I was on a webinar with the KW Hero team uh, a couple of days ago. They really want to ramp up and make their keyword research component much more robust so i can expect probably in the next like month or two a lot more many more updates to the keyword research part of it but anyways let's let's just jump into it how it works right now and you can you know kind of gauge for yourself what it is so again let's say you're you have a store you sell again baby stuff infant toddler stuff uh, or you're an affiliate right so we're gonna say a best booster seat right is is what we what i was talking about earlier country for the moment you can change that kind of limited in countries but the united states their recommendation is if you're using this tool for content in a country that's not on this list use worldwide but i'm situated in the u.s at the moment um it's, it's very simple very clean very like intuitive right they don't uh, there are some keyword tools um, or other tools like there's so much going on and this is almost like it's so simplistic it's like Google, right? That's why Google is so great. Like it just has the search bar. Um, so you just put in the keyword that you're looking for. And in terms of if you're if you're new to this keyword, just think about what is it that you sell. Try to go as broadly as possible, and then let the keyword research tool do its work. Okay, so we're gonna head in there, um, find some keywords. It might take, uh, depending on your like industry, depending on the keyword that you put in, it may take a few more moments. Like this was really really quick. Um, so we'll head in here and just look at some stuff that we have going on. Here are going to be your metrics, right? Um, search volume average per month, they've got it at 4,300. Cost per click on an advertising basis, they've got it around 55 cents per click. If somebody were to be investing in uh, Google ads is what it is. Here's search trends over the last 12 months. Uh, I wish they would like put some titles on this, like exactly what I'm looking at. If this is 
February 2024, and this is what would this be? March 2023, I guess. Um, but anyway, search trends. So you can see, like, probably winter time, February, November. So. Uh, if I'm right about the way the search trends are, it, it probably went up during the holidays and then kind of tempered back. Um, you would think like summertime should be, anyways, whatever. Uh, keyword difficulty. Now, this is a metric that every keyword research tool has on its own. How difficult it, based on like the strength of websites already in that industry and the strength of the content already in that industry, how hard it believes that it would be for you to rank on this rank using this keyword um and the profitable score is a metric that kw hero has created they haven't really um, like made clear what the profitability score is so i don't want to like I, I assume it's like hey you've got a, an average chance of turning this content into making money if the profitable score is higher i suspect that if you create content around it, like there's a high likelihood that you can convert on this on this keyword and whatnot. Uh, so that's that. Anyways, basic metrics. Up here too, I forgot to talk about these. The minimum recommended domain power. Again, one of the ranking, like think about it this way. If you were selling uh, baby gear and you just launched your website today, there's probably very little content and it's very little age. Whereas if you take a, another baby store like What's the one that just closed down? Uh, I don't know. Babies are us, whatever. Lots of brand power, lots of domain age, lots of content on there. Their brand, like their domain power is probably on the higher end of things. So Kate Up Hero believes that to rank for this keyword in like the top search results, top five, let's say for Google, that your authority uh, domain, your website's authority should be around a 29 according to their metric, which isn't that, ch that challenging. Uh, and then quality links to page one, this is how many backlinks uh, it believes that a website should have to try to compete for this word, so for this keyword. So we'll, we'll, those are just metrics, put those aside for now, especially if you're a beginner. Let's jump into here. You can filter through these keywords. Uh, how, many, how many keywords did we get? Let me see if I can move my big head. Hide that real quick. 173 keywords in total. Okay. Um, these are keywords that are related to the term best booster seat, right? Um, so again, if we're going to write content on best booster seat, we may want to like include and incorporate a lot of these keywords inside of our content uh, in a way that's very readable and very natural is what we want to do. Um, so I'm going to do here and now one of the powerful, I'm not going to play around with these other filters like because this is if you want to hone into like a very specific keyword, um, but you can filter by searches, you can filter by like the sentiment, cost per click if you want to do based on advertising, keyword difficulty as well, like if you don't want to waste time on the uh, higher difficulty ones, like for instance, best narrow booster seat is probably a very easy keyword to win according to uh, KW Heroes metrics, right? So you can you can filter that way. I'm not gonna go there. What I am gonna do is use cluster keywords. And what this does is that it, uh, KW Hero has uh, like on its back end within its algorithm, how it processes these keywords, it groups certain keywords if they're related to each other in, a, in such a way that if you're ranking for one, you're ranking for another. Um, like think about, I guess, uh, bankruptcy attorney, bankruptcy lawyer. Those are the basically the two. If you can rank for the term bankruptcy attorney, you're likely going to rank that same piece of content for bankruptcy lawyer because they are so semantically uh, compatible that it's practically the same thing. So we're going to do that cluster keywords. OK, um, and what do we have here? 70 that we end up 77 keywords. So it, it kind of clustered together 100 keywords into some group. Just showing you like how it works. KW Hero um, has, has said that they want to like bump up the robustness, the features, all the more filters, um, quality metrics inside of this keyword research tool. If you don't have a keyword research tool, this is how it works. If you do have a keyword research tool, like for instance, I use WriterZen, which I've uh, mentioned before, highly recommend it. Um, but you can, you, if you don't use that, this is why with like one benefit of KW Hero, it, it starts off with the keyword and topic research. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these and we're going to add, oh, 
Uh, the last thing I want to do here is fetch SERPs. What this does is goes out and takes our topic, our term that we search for, best booster seat, and it's going to search for the top. I believe 20 results on Google. So for instance, it's it's as if on the back end, it's typing into Google best booster seat and it's gonna pull the top 20 results for us. Okay, so as you can see, like azfamily.com is ranking number one. You know, just to see what I'm doing here, uh, Google, we said best booster seat. That's interesting. It, like my top 10, oh, because it's in shopping, right? Um, that's interesting. Google, at least when I did it, automatically jumped to like shopping, right? But inside of KW Hero, the, this is, I, I wonder if it's like a local, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an idea. Anyways, just wanted to show you like how what it's doing in the back end. It's like typing in, typing or searching Google for that term, and this is what we're getting. Already, I see that YouTube is number two. Um, YouTube is number four, and what else do we have here? YouTube is twelve. So they're uh, in like the top fifteen results, top twenty results. I already see four YouTube videos, and I'll talk about this. Those are easy opportunities to to win um in this keyword all right so let's just hop into the next thing so that's that's what the search results are just got to get a sense of like what kind of content is out there and who are you competing against right so the number one at least the way when they fetched it um the, the domain of this one was 59 the url power is 55 so not 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 like that strong um youtube will disregard because youtube is like a different entity like the very well family 51 Forbes as you can see like Forbes is a well-known site so their domain power is 97 and the, the link that they have because of like the strength of the domain every article that Forbes publishes gets a lot of like respect so that's why their URL power is so high at 70 here All right. our goal with this is gonna be to beat that 70 score really because that's something that we can control all right, so now that we did that, we selected all the keywords. I'm gonna just do here, the next thing is gonna be add to content plan. Create new content plan. And we said best booster seat, United States, English, add. Okay, close. So now we go to content creation. And then here is our, please add keywords to the content plan. Wait, didn't I just add to the keywords to the content plan? In the hell? Maybe I was supposed to copy and paste it. Let's just do it again. So, best booster seat. Okay, so we'll take that. We'll copy the clipboard. And then we'll go to content creation, best booster seat. And we're gonna add our, our keywords there. This looks like the 173. We're gonna add to the content plan. Now, if you want to be more specific, you can be like, go in through this like i don't need best narrow booster c 2021 i'll do 2024 like you can go through it and, and make it more relevant or if there are keywords or terms that don't matter to you just delete them or blah 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 blah, blah. i'll just for completeness i'll just do that whatever okay two-year-old all right we'll add this to the content plan okay now what we're going to do now is this content plan here is like all the universe of topics you'd want to write about if you wanted to, to address like all things within the realm of best booster seat. One article might be best booster seat. One article might be best backlist booster seat. Another article would be best booster seat for five-year-olds. Uh, best travel like these can all these are all individual articles. Okay um, What we're gonna do just to keep just to show what KW Hero does and just because it's already 20 minutes into this video is The next thing we're gonna do here is very simple. We're just gonna hit the analysis button So if you want to let's say we're gonna st the first article we're gonna do is best booster seat, right? so analysis and Give this a couple of minutes what it's doing is pulling in like searching Google for it, this particular term, deciphering how, like how many words on average the article should be, images, links, um, and then the terms particularly. And this is where uh, KW Hero really shines. 
Uh, it's looking for like NLP modeling. I don't want to get into I, like I'm not an expert in that, um, but my understanding of how it works is that it like these tools. What they do is they go through the top 10, top 20, top whatever. There's uh, other tools that say it goes through the entire uh, search results, and then like look at terms that con consistently appear throughout all of the pages, like every website that that publishes content on this, and then basically determines that those terms for you to, to rank need to be, or at least should be inside of your content. All right, so content analysis done. Let's open it up. And then here's what I was talking about. Like we start, we've already, if you looked at the SERP, we've already done keyword research, which was just take a, a term, put it in the keyword research tool, figure out what we're writing about. Okay, now we've got to start doing like, we're gonna write an article about best booster seat. We gotta figure out like what, what is that gonna be based around? Cable Hero went out and figured out that, okay, a good a good piece of writing, good article should have somewhere between 1147 and 1300 words, six to eight different headings, 16 to 20 paragraphs, 15 to 19 images. Readability, fairly basic and flesh score. I don't even know what the flesh score is. We go down even further these terms should be in your headers like the the paragraph headings and then content terms these are the terms that you want to weave in and throughout your content naturally as naturally as possible okay so now we'll head to this is i jump usually here to the is my first step inside it because we want to we did keyword research now we have to do content ideation and we want to know like what should our content look like Best booster car seats, right? This is a New York Times article. I, I don't know if we're going to beat this. We're probably not because look how strong their domain is and look how good the content they created is. 8,000 words. Let's just take a look at it. You want to like just check out what they're writing about. And as you can see, they've got from the jump, like, is this a um, wire cutter is an affiliate site, like uh, affiliate site anyway. So. As you can see, they've got like best of, also great, just product recommendations is what they got. So down here is gonna be like the long form stuff. So that's what they got. They've got up here, little blurb, link to Amazon, their top pick, runner up, and then also the top three picks, top four things. And then here is their article. Like as you can see, these are the headings that they have for their long form stuff. And that's all down here. All right, cool, good article. All right, so now let's see what else we have. IHS, they're not really writing f to sell. IHS is like the, the organization in the United States that ranks or, or tests out these seats. But let's just take a look at what they got here because they're here. Current booster ratings, blah, blah, blah. Test protocol, best bet, baby trip. Wow, they actually do, it's interesting. As you can see, they're not writing to sell. They're just writing to write because that's maybe their job. Um, all right, so that's that. Okay, let's keep going and seeing what we have here. Uh, Baby Gear Lab, ooh, best for best 2024. As you can see, domain power, they're not a strong uh, I mean, domain, but good article, 3,400 words. Let's just take a look at it. It looks a lot like the New York Times article. Don't you, don't you think? Uh, up here, a little blurb, little picture, links to some of their picks. And then right here, they just jump to their top picks. And then I assume at the bottom, they're gonna have, why should you trust this? It was the same thing, the same header in the New York Times article, right? And as you can see, the rest of it is just gonna be like long term, long form stuff all right cool good article so as you can see as you like click these links and just check out what what's out there you can see what other websites have created uh, all right so i'm gonna start uh, ihs i really don't want i want articles that have like the best of these are like comparison best of articles it seems like competitors uh consumer reports there's only eight words on there okay that doesn't make sense for some reason it's not being scanned properly but i want to include that i don't know why it's at click ink uh that might be a store right yeah so you can see this is a store car seats that's a product page so we're not going to include that uh nitsa we're not going to include reddit we're not going to include az family might be a good one to include as a competitor again we want 
to, to check off which ones uh, this is all the content right here okay so we'll leave that off YouTube video we're not gonna include because there's not a lot of like or written Amazon we're not gonna use store we're not gonna use survival with kids okay we'll include it I think why not okay as you can so you can pick and play like I'm not gonna spend much more time with that you can go through all of it and then I, once you're done selecting the the your competitors which ones you want to like model your um this one we're definitely going to include ten thousand words <laughs> uh, we're definitely going to include that one uh save and update the editor okay as you can see now our metrics have been updated based on the, the selections we made okay, i changed some of the competitors words that we have to include somewhere around 3700 to 4500 a lot more headings, a lot more paragraphs, a lot more images. I, the articles we checked out were very image rich and whatnot, okay? Heading terms changed, heading terms and content terms, so that's what we're gonna do, okay? So now, so far, we've, we've got key, keyword research done, content ideation, we kind of see what we wanna do. The next thing is gonna be the content creation. Now, this is where Keyword Hero, for me, shines really well outline builder a lot of other tools have this like create an ai tool what the tool does is it goes out there uses its own like ai engine to figure out like the headers and whatever so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to use that create ai outline all right give it a couple minutes and it's going to so it's going out there like reading the competitors that we selected figuring out the headlines and then the structure of the article and then it's going to come back to us with like the headings for each of these paragraphs. All right, cool. All right, let me just move my head here. All right. So as you can see, this is what we have. We have a heading. Our title for the article is here, and you can change all this stuff if you wanted to. If you want the AI like writer to redo something, you can add, which is really powerful. This is a feature that I've only seen on like one, maybe two other tools, but you can add specific instructions for this particular header, heading, paragraph, right in here. So if you want to like include a joke or something like that here, you can say, hey, write a funny joke, blah, 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 before uh, to, or a quip to, uh, in the introduction. Whatever the case is, you can do for each of those things. You can manually change the headings if you want, like move stuff around, blah, 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 blah. And so as you can see, all the way down, this is what it came up with. Lots of paragraphs, lots of H2s, lots of, I wonder if it's why you should trust this in here. Um, why recommend it the importance why recommend it so basically this is what the format it came up with the topics the product why we recommend it and then specs product why we recommend it specs so that's going to be the, its best of structure and then at the end of it i wonder okay there is no why trust us which it's fine trust me because i have a kid all right so that's that now, the next thing we're going to do is, so we have keyword research done, content ideation, like what kind of article we're creating. The next step is going to be the content creation. Now, this is where a lot of other the keyword here, KW Hero differs from any other tool I've seen. Uh, a lot of other tools, like you would have to go in and just like either manually write out what you want, or there's like it ha they have AI writers, but there's no way to control the content you're getting back, right? And that also elicits the question like prompt, like how do I say this? If you're not someone who's comfortable with or familiar with creating good prompts for AI, like that's all the rage, right? Using ChatGPT, OpenAI, uh, Bard, Gemini, whatever AI, generative AI tool, the challenge is like, how do you create prompts that get you the content that you wanted to write? Um, and it's hard. It, it it's really takes a lot of time and just evolute, like create a prompt, see the content you get, modify it, create the prompt, modify, modify, modify. KW Hero is fascinating in that it's given us the outline, which so far a lot of other tools, if not every other tool that I've used does the same thing. Now we're gonna head to AI Content Writer, okay? And tone of voice, I'm just gonna say, I like friendly. Content level, I'm gonna say beginner. I assume that that's like the readership. Uh, purpose is to inform, and the voice is gonna be second person. I like writing you, you, you. I want, when readers read my articles, I want them to see you and whatnot. Um, NLP optimization, yes. 
scrape fresh content what this does is my understanding is like it'll go into like pull ai tools right now are basically finding stuff on the internet and then spinning it so what it'll do is it'll it'll as it's writing this stuff check out the content that we selected and then use that as reference i'm going to say no to that and pass a detection um, again, it changes the language so that it's a little less uniform to, to sort of the idea is that when text is less uniform, it's more human. Um, whereas if it's very uniform in like tone and voice, it's believed to be less human. I, I don't need waste time on pass A detection. And if you want to add any more instructions here, like voice or write, uh, end every, every paragraph with like, call to action, something like that. You can include additional guidelines, uh, instructions here. All right, now that we did that, let's just hit write content. All right, same kind of thing. Give it a couple of minutes. I, again, it's supposed to write about 4,000 words, so it might take a little bit of time. Um, and let's see what we get back. Okay, and we're back. That was uh, maybe about three minutes or so, two or three minutes, whatever, not that long. But look at this article. Um, let's just read it and see best booster seat out the title when it comes to family card trips the safety and comfort of your little ones are paramount booster seat plays a critical role in protecting the child ensuring they're properly positioned to maximize the effect of your car safety features this guy will help you navigate the world booster seats make your journey safer and more enjoyable all right anyways like with any piece of ai generated content i i tend to look at it as, as a first draft and then you go in there edit make it yours right it's like okay cool like they it, it came out with this base article it's your job now to go and make it yours but um it really cuts a lot of the time and i want to go back to the guidelines section and show you what the power of kw hero really is it's scored as 82 out of 100 which is like really optimized and i'll tell you right now that if you just add a couple of images here it's gonna it's gonna get clo very close to 100. um in terms of terms, as you can see, heading terms, uh, how is boosted car seats not using a header? Like you can increase, just whatever, change one of these headers to include booster seats. Like if you want to increase the score, so let's just do that real quick. Booster car seats, the topic for best booster car seats. Okay, bumped it up to 83. So that's how you do, like if you wanted to increase the score and add more of these, uh, you just simply find ways to add these terms naturally for the child weighs six okay whatever the case is you can you can figure it out what um what you want to include what doesn't work out for your article but so far we've got an 83 out of 100 again if we add images this thing is going to shoot up to over 90 close to 100 and that means for, you can be pretty confident in publishing this thing right away again i would probably go in and modify it so that it reflects my voice i don't need uh, make sure everything is accurate, uh, you know, in terms of the models that they're talking about, the the, vo the voice and everything. You just want to run through it and edit it yourself. But like, look at the think it just it just did the writing for us. Now we just instead of having to be writers, we can focus on being editors and then publishing your content. So if you can think about uh, the, uh, like I said, KW Hero is great for increasing the publishing velocity for your website. If you can do this, like it. With other tools, it probably takes me two to three days to publish an article, just with the time I have, like with work, stuff at home, family, like finding the time in between. This, I've been managing to publish an article in like three hours because you do the keyword research, you figure out what it is you wanna write about, come in here, get a first draft. This is like such a good first draft. I just now have to go in, read through it, edit it, add images and then it's ready for publication and to show you like what how powerful this is i'm going to go into another tool that i think is really powerful called phrase uh leave a link in it if you want to check it out but phrase is like one of the top players in seo optimization what they do kind of similarly you put in a search term that you want to create content around it goes out pulls the top 20 results and then creates the same kind of thing like how um how do you want to terms that you want to include so that it increases the optimization of it. So we're going to head here, new document. We said best booster seat in general, create document. Let's go. Okay. What's again, what's doing now It's going out, looking at typing inside on the back end in Google, like best booster seat and then finding, did I do best booster seat or best booster seats? Best booster seat. 
Okay, we want us to make sure plural versus not. Um, going out, searching results, and then figuring out what terms it wants to include in it. All right, it shouldn't be much longer, and we'll get the results from phrase. Excuse me. All right, um, I'm going to skip the outline. This is not a, a video about phrase. We can do, uh, I think, uh, have a video somewhere else about phrase and whatnot. I got more on the way, but I'm going to hop here to optimize tab. I just want to show you because I really believe in like phrase as a standard bearer in the world of like content optimization. So we're going to take KW Heroes content right now. And I'm just going to, let's see this, because the title is going to be a little different. Okay. I'm going to take this. We're just going to head to phrase right now. And we're going to do that. And as I said, out of the box, let's see, out of the box, the content produced in KW Hero got us a score of 65, um, which according to phrase, like the New York Times article is, <laughs> is gangster, <laughs> believe it or not. So there it is again. Uh, Very Well Family, Baby Gear Lab. I think these are the same. All right, let's just take a look. One New York Times, IHS, Baby Gear Lab, US News. So a little different in terms of how they pull it up. Uh, but 65, it's still like already the average topic score uh, the average across the top 20 competitors is 27.6%. So well, we're well ahead of the curve. And if you spend a couple times in phrase, like a couple of minutes in phrase, you can update this article relatively quickly. I don't know why height limits, and, uh, whatever. There are terms you can add in here to increase that score. But as you can see, out of the box, this is what we have. It's 83 according to KW Hero, is 65 in phrase. I had an article the other day that out of the box, I didn't touch it. I just like copied and pasted over the phrase because I want to see the comparison. Um, I think it was ranking like, a, uh, I forget, like a 90 in here in KW Hero. And it came out to like an 82 and for 80 in phrase or 82 in phrase, which again, for me is really powerful. Um, this tells me that this article right here, as I mentioned, is very well optimized. Again, I haven't touched it right out of the box. So if you spend another couple minutes, 10, 15 minutes, go or half an hour going through this and again adding images you just bump up this the optimization score that much well and again get it pumped up so this is why i think kw here is a great tool you know you can get it on app sumo right now on a lifetime deal it's really about speeding up publishing velocity if you're someone who can like me you you are a solopreneur you're running x whatever business you have and just finding ways like how can i create content easily kw hero might be a solution in the future like i don't know how, like if the value proposition is going to be there because the way I, I understand kw hero they've got prompts on the back end that work with open ai other tools as like are, are have already ability to add custom instructions so who knows if they refine those other tools also refine their ai generation like this may not be as powerful but for right now like even if I get like two or three months of juice out of this, that's you know uh, with the plan that I get from AppSumo, that ends up being like ten or twelve articles a month within the lifetime deal. I'll take it because that's huge. That's more. That's fast. More publishing than I've ever done in my life, or like in the last ten years. So I'll take it. It's a great value, as you can see. Very easy. It tackles all the things from con uh, keyword and topic research to content ideation and content creation. And the articles that you get right out of the box are super powerful. Anyways, that was my overview walkthrough of KW Hero. Very simple tool to use on AppSumo right now. I'll drop a link to AppSumo as well as my affiliate link to KW Hero if you are interested um, in, in getting yourself a subscription. I do get a small cut if you do purchase from my link. So thank you in advance, I appreciate it. If you have any questions or wanna see other like use cases with KW Hero, drop it in the comments below. I love doing these videos. I don't wanna spend all of my credits on, on examples, but I'd love to see uh, how I can help you use this if you think it's a good tool for you. Anyways, with that, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, until next time, take care, be well. Bye for now.